Flosstube, it's Kerry and Stitches. It's Friday the 10th of May and this is Flosstube 44. Hello and welcome. Welcome to you if this is your first time visiting me. It's great to have you here and I hope you like my channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, it's always good to have friends visit again. Um, I hope you've all had a really, really good stitchy fortnight. Lots of stitching done. I hope those of you who are partaking in mania in whichever way form whether, whether, whether I can't even speak today, it's going to be one of those. In whatever form it, mania is to you, I just hope that you're enjoying it and you're getting lots of stitches, uh, stitching done. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I'm doing a monogamania. Yeah, that one. Um, monogamania. So, or monogamous. I can't, no, words are terrible for me today. So, uh, we're just going to go with it. It's going to be a random kind of video. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and um, I'll share more about that in a bit. So we're finally back to normal after our crazy busy birthday weekend, um, which was happening at the start of my last video. Um, let's have a quick thing. So Friday evening, brother and uh, sister-in-law and her husband came up. Um, they live three and a half hours north. They were on holiday three and a half hours south. We're in the middle. They so they joined us for the weekend. That was wonderful. Um, they we just had um, had a meal and just got to have a catch up and things like that. So on the Saturday, Lottie had a judo grading, uh, which she passed. Um, it's her first one. She's but she's so excited about it all. Um, so that was really good. My brother and sister in law came to watch that too. Uh, we then went to. I came back here and I prepared all the food for our uh, for Lottie's birthday tea. Uh, she chose to have a raclette with a, a few of her friends and then we all sat down after and had a raclette. So um, it was all good fun. That seemed, that's kind of one of our go-to party things, is get the raclette out and let everybody just deal with themselves. Um, so Lottie's birthday party was at Lush, 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 uh, Lush Cosmetics, um, I think they're pretty much worldwide so you may or may not have heard of them. Uh, we've got a store in the city and it was fantastic. The staff know their products, they're brilliant and we had lots and lots of fun. They did the, they have like a jelly kind of wash stuff that they played jelly catching with and had egg and spoon races with the egg shaped bath bomb and then got to visit and um, and did all these sorts of different things, stuff really good at knowing what products you can mix together to kind of, you know, if we do put that one in there and that one in there, it'll all go purple and you'll end up with purple hands, which some of them did. They had bright purple hands and bright red hands and it was it was great fun. We made bath bombs. They got to try all the products um, or lots of the products. It was, it was lots of fun. Um, we had no idea what it was gonna be like when we went in, but the staff, staff were really enthusiastic. Uh, they let Lottie choose her music for the store. So, I mean, it's the party happens live whilst uh, in the store and um, whilst, whilst the store's open. And like, so they're like, Lottie, what kind of music do you like? She's like, oh, I really like George Ezra. So they played basically all the George Ezra they had on, I'm guessing the staff were just using like their Spotify accounts or whatever. Um, and she was like, what? They were like, well, okay, we've had George Ezra on for a while. What else do you like, Lottie? And she was like, um, Foo Fighters. So then we had Foo Fighters on, it was fantastic. So, um, couldn't rate them highly enough. I just they were brilliant. Um, so uh, so she came back. We had a, we had a they had a raclette. We had a raclette. Uh, then Tom and Andy and my brother and sister in law went to see Endgame. I didn't. I stayed at home a lot. Um, we I'll wait for them. I'm happy to see it when it comes on Sky. You can tell me the spoilers. I won't remember. So it's kind of like that. Um, what else? I keep seeing that thing from the thingy behind me and I keep thinking my hair's like sticking out in a loop. Uh, sorry, random rabbit hole. So Sunday we went uh, go-karting for Tom's birthday. We've got a track a couple of miles up the road and um, Lottie went, Tom went, with Tom took a couple of friends, Andy Carts and my brother and sister-in-law did it. So there were seven of them on the track. It was really, really good fun. Uh, Lottie did really well for her first time. So Tom and Andy got a couple of the fastest times of the day, which was really good for them. 
uh, fun fact, it, uh, for those of you in Europe, you'll know of Sky TV. Um, Lewis Hamilton did a feature there for the Sky F1 channel. Uh, so if you're into motorsport of any sort of thing, you might know that kind of name. So anyway, so we just kind of had a really good t time. Tom, what do we do in the afternoon? Came back here, ate cake. That's pretty much the story of the weekend, ate cake. Uh, and for the rest of the week following, ate cake. And then we, Monday, we went to Stratford-upon-Avon for the day. It's about 45 minutes from us. Uh, we visited the butterfly farm and which was really really good it's not it's not a big it's not a big kind of thing to do it's not you're not there all day an hour hour and a half that's about it but it was really nice to walk around and see all the um well butterflies quite frankly they have they have a few other kind of insect type sort of things you know they have like a tank with a millipede in and a, you know lots of leafcutter ants and um it's only a small thing, but it was really, really nice to see. But some of the bottles were like big as my hand. It was on there, so they were like, it was fascinating to see them. Um, so they have like feeding stations and stuff, so you can really see the butterflies doing what butterflies do. We got to see a couple hatch, which was uh, quite exciting. Um, what else did we do? We had a boat trip on the river, and. Uh, we had coffee and cake at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre. Um, had a wander around the town, saw Shakespeare's birthplace, and uh, had a visit with uh, visited there. And um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll have seen all of these already. Um, so yeah, we had a really really lovely day. Uh, well, weekend celebrating the birthdays, four days of non-stop fun, and then Tuesday we all went back to work and school. It was. And then I've spent two weeks catching up at work. At least that's what it feels like anyway. So um, I, we're all caught back up now. Uh, not stitch much. I was, it, the weekends always exhaust me because of my CFS. And it took me about a week to get back to normal. Uh, obviously because I'd had the gastroenteritis as well going into that weekend. So not a lot of stitching got done. And then we went straight into mania and my monogamania. So it's been, well, it's been seven minutes of me rambling about things that we did. Um, I will stick a couple, of, I might stick a little slideshow of the, the weekend if I, in at the end, if I can put one together. So let's jump straight into the stitching. Uh, so we have got Main Street. That's my Monogamania piece. I was really, I'm really hoping to get it done. I think it's looking amazing. I should do a sunshine stitches and have it all, or an Adonna Ray and have it all clipped up onto something. I'm uh, looking around to see if there's any board or anything. No, there isn't. So there we go. We will go with this. So that's what it's looking like so far. So I finished. I, I need a little tiny bit left to do on. I hadn't done the back stitching on the bookstore, so I've just put the little bit of back stitching there and put books in. And I also, which I don't think you'll see, maybe you will, if I can hold it still now, and cover my head. I did a couple of little symbols just to try and represent um, Harry Potter. I thought I'd throw a bit of magical stitches in there as well. Uh, so we've got kind of a, there's a sort of a triangle for the Deathly Hallows, um, a lightning bolt and a broomstick. That's the best I could do in a tiny space. Uh, with what I had so so then I moved on so when you last saw it I'd half done I'd half done this one so we have oh there we go let's do that so we have a completed tree uh, I finished Lorelei the Lorelei pattern is stitch one over one and it is from Wee Little Stitches uh, on Etsy and on Instagram and on Facebook uh, I love their pixel people patterns I was only looking at them yesterday thinking what uh, else shall I have? I've got two or three, I've got three of theirs on my wall upstairs. Um, so I turned, this was the dress shop for Main Street, I turned this into Luke's Diner. I meant to stitch the whole of this bottom in cream, but I forgot, so it's blue. So we've got some coffee cups and stuff for Luke's Diner, um, the Williams Hardware sign above the door. Um, and Laura Light is waiting outside for her coffee. 
she's just gotten back from Chilton uh, on Rory's first day and is dressed inappropriately. So, uh, for going to a school, oh, sorry, for taking a daughter to a, uh, a prep school. So, if you know the if you know the series, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know the series, don't worry about worry about it. So then I did. Bank, we had a bank holiday weekend here, not this weekend, just gone, no, yeah, last weekend, bank holiday weekend, so I had three days at home, four days at home, because I had the Friday off, and I stitched, 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 stitched. I averaged around 700 stitches a day, which meant I got the entire of the bakery, which is the cafe, completely finished. I changed some colours. It had purple, let me just pull out the chart and you can see. It had a, quite a bit of purple on it and I found the purple quite jarring against the... Uh... So it had the purple parasol and purple curtains. And purple and orange in my book don't sit particularly harmoniously together. So Andrew pulled up a colour wheel and I forget who were the... Where it was he did tell me anyway Andrew pulled up a color wheel and we kind of looked at the complementary colors to that and basically I'd already picked the teal and changed it to that oh because the teal's already in there and the teal was a complementary color and the other one was that blue so the tablecloth was already charted for that blue with the white so I just put the darker blue which features elsewhere in the whole design I put that in and then used the bakery window to put the two cakes in rather than the cafe but to put two cups outside oh yeah they were white cups and I changed them to pink just to put a bit extra colour in it so really pleased with how that one turned out so I did that in three days and I was super happy about that um there are little things that I keep seeing as I go back through the thing thinking like none of the doors have door handles so I, I suspect when I finish it, I will go back through all of the designs, popping things like door handles in, because it bugs me. And then, because I did it for one of them, oh yeah, so I'd already put it on that door because I'd changed the door. So I, 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 I imagine it'll be a little tiny back stitch on every single one of them. And then I moved on, which is all I've done, on the grocery store which is going to become, so that's the grocery store. So that is going to become the beauty shop. There we go, it's gonna become the beauty shop. And I've got a couple of the cats staying because there were several ginger cats in the program. I shall change the window a little, change the stuff in the windows a little bit um, and I haven't quite decided because I've already used the fruit outside the market, doses market. I shall change that for something, and I may have it written down what I'm going to do. I can't remember. Um, so my plan is now basically on the tenth is to try and stitch. Tenth, seventeenth, twenty fourth. Yes, that'll work. Is to try, basically try and stitch one a week now. So then we have the post office which will become Kim's Antiques. So I need to chart a couple of things for that one. A lot of the time I can kind of wing the charting. I take it, take other elements or I know it enough to be able to make it up. Um, but I actually do need to chart signs and stuff for that one. And then the final one is the bakery there, which will become Star Hollow Video. And the window will have um, a head and shoulders portrait of Rory in it, um, which I'll use the wee little stitches design again. Um, so for those of you who are new, I absolutely love the show Gilmore Girls, which is great, which is really old, nearly 20 years since it was first broadcast now, like 2000 it was first broadcast. Um, anyway, anyway, absolutely love the show. So my Main Street, which is, sorry, this is Main Street, this is by Country Cottage Needleworks. It's stitched on the called for fabric, which is 32 count star sapphire in the called for DMC and classic colour works. Um, I'm changing it to how little girl more girl themed stuff. So I've changed a few of the shops 
uh, and also putting little nods, little nods to it. So you know, all the flowers in the flower shop became yellow for the yellow for a thousand yellow daisies. We put a doses market sign in the window. Um, there's pumpkins and hay bales and knitting and Paul Anker the dog and a sign advertising the Edgar Allan Poe Society. We've got Luke Steiner with the yellow cups in the window. Although Luke Steiner doesn't have yellow cups in the window, it's just on the sign, but I couldn't do that. So you've got to go with what you can do. So all that kind of thing. I've got a, a couple of ideas for other things I'm going to do to put in other characters. Few um, floss tube friends and you uh, yeah, stitchy in internet stitchy friends uh, have given me ideas about how what I can do. Um, so thank you to Darla and to Caroline. Those are the two that I know have given me ideas. So I, I shall go with all those and may even get a finish out of it this month. Uh, I absolutely love this project. I cannot wait to get it on the wall. I know exactly where it's going. Um, without giving you a tour of my living room, basically it is going to go on the wall opposite where I sit. Uh, so basically where this wall, sort of out there on that wall, and I sit opposite it, and it's going there and I can look at it every day. All I'm going to do is stretch it over a canvas for now. Uh, I, think, I think that will look best at the moment. It will be fantastic frames, but that's just not in my... Um, Budget, that's the word I'm looking for right now. So, yeah, that's how, that's the plan. So let's move on to some FFOs, of which I will insert videos here. A video and a photograph I've done. I did three small gifts for over Easter. I know two have been received. One, I think, somewhere in the US postal system. Um, I'm hoping it will get there. But it's been nearly three weeks now, and I would really like... Uh, to be able to share with you what I've made. Um, so that I'll put those videos in there. I know it's been really slow because one arrived a week later, one arrived um, and only in the last couple of days and the other one, yeah, who knows where it is. Hopefully it'll turn up soon. And also the ATC I made for the theme of Woodland and or Nerdy. I went with Nerdy and they don't come more nerdy than Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. So I did actually another Wee Little Stitches design um, of Sheldon. So I'll put those in now. So here are the uh, little slightly late Easter gifts that I'm sending out to some lovely floss tube friends. Um, I've had these cotton reels knocking around for absolutely ages. Um, I literally have a whole bag full of them. Some of them I won, well most of them I won in a, in a giveaway. A few of the others are ones that I've, they're sort of the craft ones that I've bought um, over time. So I've been wanting to do this kind of thing with them and had plans to do lots of Christmas ones but decided to make a little decoration -y kind of thing for friends and I've also used some of the smaller ones to make scissor fobs. Possibly scissor fobs, they might be a bit big, but we'll go with it. So I grabbed a few of my glass beads at my stash. I love the graduation from dark green through to pale blue. It's just totally kind of my colours with an I love sewing charm. Uh, the design itself, let's just bring it a bit closer. Ooh utilising the banana tree hook thing here. The, the designs from Caterpillar Cross Stitch's new um, free design, you can sign up for it on her website. Um, she releases free patterns periodically. This one had about 10 butterflies. So I just chose to do this one. The yellow really caught my eye. It's stitched pretty much in the cooled form. There's a few kind of shade variations. Uh, the turquoise is a darker one, the yellow is a different one. Um, it's stitched on 14 count blue ada uh, when we added a few extra butterflies around the back and I say we because my decision to stitch on ada was so that Lossie could stitch those three so um, it's definitely a, a collaborative gift and I'm hoping the recipient really likes it 
and as you can see in the background there's a few needle minders to go out to to people so we're just going to swap over and next up we have thank you Lottie for your assistance I decided oh, let's just change the camera a little bit uh, there we go this one so, has a lovely name on it so you might be able to see who this one's for Uh, this is using one of the smaller reels, and I've gone with the sort of with a one of the um, fob type oh, key ring. This is a fob type thing. There we go. I'll get there in the end. And just some uh, graduating pink beads. Uh, this is 18 Cat Ada, which was hand painted by my friend Steph. So that's a really really sweet one. Let's just give you a quick close up. As you can see, these are all vintage sewing um, yeah, cotton reels. There we go. And then the last one. We've got one more to this one. Okay. I'm ably assisted today by Lottie. This is um, another scissor fob because, you know, back to the tiny biscorny. So this one is heading off to Boise and. Um, I completely lost my train of thought then. This one's heading off to uh, Melanie Yarns and Threads and um, I'm 95% sure that green's her favourite colour. I could be completely wrong here, but I'm sure it is. But uh, Melanie will now be joining the Tiny Biscorno Club, a uh, uh, hashtag that is, has been coined by Heather. Um, so it's a very exclusive club. There are only currently... I'm going to say 26 members of the Bis Tiny Biscorno Club, so um, it's it's a bit of fun. So I'm pleased with how that turned out. It's stitched on 32 count uh, water lilies by, uh, that's a permin one I think, uh, just with a DM uh, with DMC and some tiny, tiny little sort of shiny mill hill beads let's just bring that a bit closer so I'm zoom in on it terrible camera work there there we go so again this is about an inch just about three quarters of an inch big so back to the reg regularly scheduled programming so on to plans main street there's, there's the plan I've stitched on nothing else, it's just Main Street, Main Street all the way. Um, I have managed, I'm hoping I can shoehorn at least four Magical Stitches extra credit um, into it. Yes, Magical Stitches had a lot of drama, not going into it. If you're there, you know about it, if you're not there about it, if you're not there, you don't need to know. It's not important. So, haul. Uh, part three of Jack Frost Farm Family Fun. And it's good to call for fabric. I'm stitching all mine individually when I start them. So I'm hoping to have, hoping to start those after I finished Main Street, maybe do one a month. That's kind of my, going to be my kind of part work replacement. I got in my April, no, March fabric of the month from Chromatic Alchemy. Um, no. Yeah, no, it's not very good of it. It's really, really pretty spring green. Blue undertones. It's not showing up very well, but it's pretty. So Chromatic Alchemy, this is a 32 count Belfast and it's a 13 by 18 cut and the colourway is Zephyr. And then we have um, Weeks Directs. Uh, third of the month club in so we've got Butterbean, Cadet, Cactus, Busy Lizzie, Bright Leaf that's a really nice brown with lots of variations it looks like it would be in the three two uh, four thirty family um, Bullfrog lots of lovely variations in that one a darker green buttercup bubblegum 
and butterscotch. So I've done the A's, I've now done the B's, I'm into the C's. I also ordered some DMC. So I have, a, these were all for Main Street except for one which is for, sorry, let me go through that again. Main Street, where there are bees, everybody needs, black, actually the whites for Main Street as well, black and white. There you go, you can't go far wrong with those. Just a quick top up because I can add them to my uh, Wheat Style Works club through Lakeside so it doesn't cost me any more postage which is really good. Or if it does cost me more postage it's like, just goes up to the next postage what's it, so, which is good. What else we got? Um, Lottie and I went thrifting and didn't really find much. I was a bit disappointed. No craft stuff whatsoever. Um, which I haven't brought in. I found a little mug that I had a little um, children's cup, which is the same as one I had in the early 80s. And I absolutely loved I had a whole set of Mr. Men ones and this one I absolutely loved them. And I found one in the charity shop for 50 pence, brought it home for a bit of nostalgia, and it's living on my kitchen windowsill. Um, I did find a really nice glass flowerful it was filthy dirty um but the glass is washed up really nicely um it's etched and cut it holds most of my scissors i only have five pairs one pairs in travel box uh it's got a metal lid i am looking for a glass one but we found we found a couple that weren't particularly interesting but for 99 pence or a pound it was about that you know what's a penny uh it was worth a bite and even I bought it home and I was expecting it, Andrew to go, what have you got that for? And he went, oh, that's a really good idea. I can see why people use them like that. Ding, ding, ding. So I am on the look lookout for a full glass one. Who knows whether I'll find one? Um, fingers crossed. Uh, right. Um, giveaways. Apologies, I haven't done sent anything yet to um, Kimberly or to Sarah, um, I will get them out. We have got new ones, but I've just looked over at the giveaways and spotted a whole box of haul. Um, I didn't ask if I could say their name, so I'm not going to, um, especially given the immense generosity. It's not entirely stitchy related, but as you all know, one of my other, other loves is beading. So I'm gonna have to get up for a second. Because this arrived on my doorstep. It is absolutely chock full of beads and beading stuff. Because I had a message from a stitchy friend who said, oh, I'm getting rid of some stuff. Uh, do you want some? I've got I found a few beads. Would you like them? Yes, please. That'd be very nice. Now, me being me, I was expecting maybe a bag full about that size. Maybe you know, a few bags that size. I was not expecting a banker's box full. It's full of glass and um, metal beads. And it is amazing. Glass pearls. Everything is bagged separately and colour coded. Well, not colour coded, but everything is bagged up separately. And then there was this box. Now this has got, and we're talking beautiful beads like these, lampwork beads, gold lined beads, it is absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to do stuff with these. So you're thinking, well, you're going to have to get some thread to do that with, Kerry. Well, no, I'm not because then there were two boxes like this. Full of cords, elastic and monofilament. And lastly, this box. 
tape it onto carefully so nothing falls out. Full of beading wire in every colour under the sun and a lot of silver. So, you know, the person who sent you obviously knows it was them because they were the one that sent it to me. And I just want to say a massive thank you. It was overwhelming and it turned up on last Friday. And I just stood there in stunned silence for a open this box up because I was expecting a parcel for something else and which had actually never showed up. Um, cancel the order, got a refund. Um, so I was not expecting this giant box full. And I just stood there and I took it into the house and I could see through the ha handles in it, I could see like a coloured box. I'm like, oh, what's that then? Yeah, opened it up and was just gobsmacked absolutely gobsmacked could not believe it um and it's been on my dining table since and i just keep opening the box and going through it and opening the box and going through it um blown away just could not ex see speechless <laughs> so if you, and you know who you are and um i just want to say thank you so very 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 much i am going to get hours and hours and hours of enjoyment out of that and i don't know how i could repay you because it's just kind of like overwhelming so thank you um so lastly let's go into a couple of giveaways um we have got oh it has got fabric First of all, it's a diary of a country, country diary of an Edwardian lady card. Um, so I'd like to stitch the flowers. It's got the card mount and everything in there. And then since the passing of Margaret Sherry, I had, I've got lots of odd charts of hers and I found this old calendar. Now I have, it has been cut up because I assume at some point I'd put it in a folder. So, but I've checked through and basically it is all 12 of these charts. Um, there's two to a page, basically it's like that. So, um, they are all charted in anchor but nothing and no, nothing a conversion chart can't solve um so oh you probably need to tell uh i'd like to stitch the margaret sherry's and i'd like to stitch the flowers flowers margaret sherry's so glasses are slipped off slipping off the top of my head that's about it um got a couple of chores to do today and then I'm going to stitch for a good three hours until I do the school run. So I hope you all have a fantastic stitchy fortnight. Um, I've got lots of YouTube comments to catch up on and all, not my, not the comments on other videos. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. So I shall, I'm going to spend a bit of time catching up on those. I need to redo my uh, whip album for magical stitches. So that needs to be done. So lots of things to do today but it all involves stitching or stitchy related, so it can't be bad. So have a fantastic stitchy fortnight, friends, and I will see you all in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye. September we met, I could tell by a smile. You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while. Yeah, you were impressed. Couldn't leave me alone Text me every time That you pick up the phone And I had control in the driver's seat But my hands are slipping off the wheel Now the tables have turned Now I'm up all night I'm picturing you Acting like a fool I'm on the other side You're like a full moon And I'm up all night
thanks for watching my channel thank you for all the lovely comments you leave me for the likes and the subscriptions I really it really does mean a lot and it makes it all worthwhile happy stitching